Prosecution in SBF trial reveals telling Twitter messages from Bankman Fried. The prosecution in Sam Bankman Fried's landmark fraud case revealed several telling messages the fallen crypto founder had via direct message through Twitter, damning Twitter messages from Bankman Fried. The prosecution called investigative analysts for the Southern District of New York, Shamal Medrano, to the witness stand where he was presented with a number of incriminating messages Bankman Fried wrote to Vox journalist Kelsey Piper on Twitter shortly after FTX collapsed. In one particular message, Piper brought up a conversation she had with the now disgraced FTX founder on whether you should do unethical SHD for the greater good. At the time, Bankman Fried replied it was not worth it before going on to allege he said lots of dumb statements that were not true. I feel bad for those who get FC kid by it, Bankman Fried wrote. Bankman Fried then touched on the lack of regulation in the cryptocurrency industry, telling Piper there's no one really out there making good things happen or preventing bad things from happening. He went on to claim that his involvement in the regulatory sphere was just PR before writing FCK regulators. When discussing how FTX co-founder Gary Wang and FTX's head of engineering, Nishad Singh, were reacting to the company's demise, Bankman Fried wrote that Gary is scared, Nishad is ashamed and guilty. Ashamed and guilty cause all the customer deposits are gone. Piper asked. Yay, Bankman Fried wrote back. When Piper published the information, Bankman Fried asked her to take down the story as he believed he was not on record. The defense pokes holes in the prosecution's case. Wednesday afternoon proved productive for the defense lawyers as they cross-examined both accounting professor Peter Easton and FBI forensic accountant Paige Owens. Easton, a renowned accounting academic, testified that the funds in a Lambda research in FTX's accounts were far less than what they owed back to customers and liabilities and claimed customer funds were utilized for various expenditures. However, the defense pushed back, alleging that Easton miscalculated a Lambda research's debts by not excluding FTX customer accounts. Moreover, the defense scrutinized Owens last and first out accounting method, claiming it can produce varying results while pointing out a potential error in her analysis. Overall, it was one of the most effective days the defense has had in terms of sowing doubt in the prosecution's case. Judge Kaplan scolds counsel. Tension in the courtroom reached a fever pitch when Judge Lewis Kaplan reprimanded both the prosecution and defense for failing to execute proper examinations of witness Corey Gaddies, a records custodian for Google. Gaddy's purpose in the trial was unclear, but was brought to the witness stand to discuss Google metadata for seemingly only one piece of rather inconsequential evidence. However, he flew in from Texas to be there. Judge Kaplan scolded counsel for the decision, stating Gaddy's was called as a mannequin and that his being there was just unreasonable. He went on to tell counsel he expected different behavior from them. The trial resumes Thursday, October 19th before breaking for the week.